welcome to this video. I just want to make sure that you got to understand the basic concept of event handling inside of Unity. So in previous demo, uh, in previous section, we talked about the new UI system and how to customize it and how to add a new functionality to your game, including uh, make an animation, menus, toggle, animation with a script, and do all that. Uh, I just want to cover in this section uh, the custom event system that we have. So if you go, for example, here to the main camera, you're just going to see here we got events. We got also something called input handler. Um, so we have something here called input handler. So this is, is a general script that is attached to the Mundizer project that you can use this script in order to handle custom events related to your game. Like... If you go to the game right now and you just want to add an image, a normal image, a normal sprite, and you need to add an event to this uh, sprite. So you can achieve this by using here our custom input events management using the events script here and also using something called inputs handler. So let me just go to the previous example here and just want to add a, a new, uh, let's say a new banner or I just want to add a new functionality here. So. Right now, if I attach a new uh, sprite to this project, so I'm just going to come here and create empty. Once I create empty here, I'm just going to say uh, save this like sprite. Like, I just want to name it as sprite uh, action. All right. So I get this game object here. It's inside the game. We don't have any... Uh, we just have a transform for it, which includes uh, the position, the rotation, the scale, which is not really transform. He was talking about transform. So let, let me just add a, uh, some sort of shapes here by doing uh, a new add of sprite render. And here, just going to select one of these images. So let me just select, for example, this icon here in the project or any other icon. So, yeah, we got this icon here. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, right now, you can see we got this sprite, and we have here uh, the main camera. As you can see, it's in here. It's in minus one in the axis, and here the sprite is here. So we don't see the sprite. We don't see the sprite, and you can go to three D mode actually in order to see why we don't see the sprite. And this is the main camera here. Yeah, because it's away from the from the coverage area for the main camera, so you can scroll. You can see uh, the main camera is just right there here, and the object that we have, the sprite, is all the way here. So what we can do here, we can uh, reset the position of this game object. In order to make it somewhere here, yeah. So I put the position here zero zero zero, so it's just gonna be in the coverage area of, of the camera. So I can go to this sprite action, and uh, I'm just gonna go here to this tool and resize the game object. So you can come here, click. You can resize this game object from here back to TD mode. Okay, you can resize it from here, or you can use the scale here in order to to just resize the game object. So let's say 1.3 times 0.3, something like that. All right. So we got this sprite right now and uh, sprite action. I need to add an event to this sprite. So once I click on this sprite, it's just gonna uh, hide it. So in order to achieve this, we are just gonna come here and add something called button. So we have two uh, types of patterns here. The first one is the standard UI button, which is basically here. If you go to uh, game object, we have UI, we have button. This is a standard one. And we have another custom, which is button here. So you need to distinguish between two, these two. So I'm just going to add this pen. And here you can see for this pen, we have a um, normal icon, we have hovering icon. So you can come here, for example, and choose this icon and also choose this icon also you have sound audio effect here you can add this sound 
if you have uh, any voice like if I go here to the uh, sounds folder I can come and drag and drop one of these so let me just go here and try uh, add positive let me just add this one here all right so this is the first thing we have another thing here called message all right so we have another way to call methods inside of unity so you can use um, uh, send message option or you could use like we did before for the standard UI button you can add a button normally so I, I just want to cover that in the, the next lesson but first in order to configure this custom button using the Mindizer custom button or the storyboard UI kit the same we have the same core you know, we're talking about button we're talking about input handler so just gonna cover all that but first thing you have to add this sprite and add a button to it uh, and after that you have to add a tag here specific tag and the tag here uh, we need to add a new tag called UI button so we have to add this tag and assign it to uh, this sprite action okay and after that we have something called message we have something called uh, message object and here we have also a sprite render component so you have to drag the same object here in order to get an instance to it here all right uh, so this is the basic setup of the custom button and right now if we go for example here and click play all right you you could click in this icon but nothing gonna happen because uh, we have to add this button into uh, the input handler so here I should add uh, something called events here and also I should add something called input handler and we use this input handler or custom input handler to handle the input from the user include the mouse click and all that here inside the event system we have something standard here we have something called touch input module we have standard input module and here we have event system so this is the standard one that comes with the UI system the new unity UI system which is here the UI so all these events are triggered here but here we're talking about custom one which is uh, our own event and our own input handler so in order to uh, work with events here uh, you can uh, add first a main camera here inside the input handler because we need to trigger uh, the raycast so I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about that right now but you have to trigger this raycast by using the input handler so we need the camera and also we have events objects so I'm just gonna also because the main camera got the events object here you have to drag it here also we have an array of pens so you have to come here and um, add an array of pen. right now we just got one only one custom band here so I have to make size of it is one and drag and drop this best sprite action here all right now uh, we have something called upgrade dialog dialog overlay forget about them right now because not, we got not gonna use that in the current scene um, so you can go to the event script and edit it right now without any problem but let me just back here so I notice we have a sprite render we have a button and also we need to attach because this is sprite we need to attach something called uh, uh, collider so we have to come here and add a collider so collider 2d so what is collider because we want to touch the screen so we don't want to collide with the screen with the touch so we with the recast so there's a some something called recast this recast is going to touch this sprite so we have to add uh this box collider here so you know see the green uh, the green box around the, this icon which is this is this is the, the collider that we have so you can add a box collider or you can add something else here like you add uh, something called polygon collider so we have here polygon collider and notice here we just take uh, we just shaded the 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 icon of the game not a box it's just the icon of the game you can click here edit and just you know it did the collider the way that you want but we need to 
cover all the icon here not only the icon so I have here box collider as you can see here yeah so I can click here save for example and click play all right this is the icon so right now I can click here but you're just gonna notice that we get object reference not set an instance so we, we got this error because uh, once we click on this button if you go here you're just gonna notice that uh, we don't have a reference to the audio controller so that's why we have to add a reference to the audio controller in this scene so in order to add a reference to the audio controller uh, we basically uh, can go to any of the previous scenes like uh, let's go for example to the game scene or main scene here and let's just copy the audio controller from here and paste it inside this scene I'll click here paste yeah you can hear right now once we click on this icon you can hear the the music but here we have an empty message so in the next video we're just going to show you how to uh, add a new function relate this uh, uh, sprite action to a uh, function inside the events here so anytime you want to work with a custom event and with a custom sprite action you can do this uh, like we did here so you have to summarize we have to add a new game object add a sprite render a bat into it a polygon collider or a collider 2d or circle collider 2d and after that we have to add a tag here called ui button and you will have to go to main camera add events to it and then inputs handler and assign the button here the sprite action to this buttons array because we want to trigger them inside the event handler and we also we have to drag and drop the different component here and close the main camera because we're working with the main camera and to get the recast from the main camera so this is basically guys how to make a custom button in the next video just going to show you how to associate this uh, custom band custom sprite band with uh, uh, with a with more advanced things like we relate this to a message with a with a certain function inside our script so for that time thank you guys for watching see you in the next video